The main idea of this, uh, this robot is to mimic as close as possible not only the human appearance, but also the mechanics of the, of the human body. So it has muscles and tendons which are elastic. It has really complex uh, structures like that of a human body. It has the forearm rotator or the shoulder blade which are actuated by many muscles and all this needs to be in, um, coordinated in order to get uh, meaningful uh, movements. What we think is that these robots have a really good potential to interact, uh, better potential to interact with the human environment, with the st unstructured environment than uh, typical uh, robots do. Typical robots are basically man uh, made according to standard engineering techniques. They are made stiff, they have actuators on the joints, whereas if you see a normal, where, if you see one of these uh, robots walking, they typically walk quite, quite stiff. And what we think is that if you have a robot like this, you basically can outsource the computation for the for the mechanics of the human body. So you can use, for example, the passive compliance to make it absorb the energy in the right way, to allow for safe interactions, and, um, and to basically also to store energy in the muscles, which can then be released to produce uh, fast movements.